banner of victory. You are the resurrected Lord. You are the one who justifies us. You are the one who unites us with yourself to make us one with you. So give us the grace to be able to perceive it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Good morning. William Kafizuri. God is good. All the time. We, we um, continue where we left off. And I want us just to really dive in. But it's interesting because what I'll share with you today is something very simple, very straightforward, something that I don't think we will struggle to apply. Right? I'm talking about the power of testimony. So today we're talking about the power of testimony. And I'm building on Jesus is enough. This is actually one of the most simple, practical things you can do on a day-to-day -day basis, what I will share with you this day. It's going to be simple, it's going to be practical. Okay? Sour. Because um, I've, I taught here about the levels of faith last year. You remember? And one of the things I said was that um, the highest level of faith is natural faith. You remember? Nikasema that there has to come a place in your life where there are things that looked impossible, they become so natural to you. That now it's no longer an issue of stopping and continuing. That miracles, when God intervenes in your life, you notice he has intervened, but it's not also a surprise he has intervened because it's natural to you that God intervenes. Good morning. Are we communicating? I said that's the highest level of faith. That everything in our lives progresses to that place where it is now natural faith. It is natural faith for this to happen. You know, but you come to the place where like when Jesus is casting the fig tree, when everyone else is surprised, him he's not surprised. Because he knew it was going to happen anyway. Are you communicating? So, and part of what gets us there is the awareness of the fact that God is always working. God has, has worked and God will not stop working. Because in our journey with God, that is normally the problem. When we realize at times, think, did he stop working? Did he go on holiday? Eh? Did he forget me? I've always said dangerous statements like that. Like Mungu Amenisa, how? If God forgets you, you die. You stop to exist. Mungu usinipite. If God passes you, hakika na umana. Kupito na Mungu, that is catastrophic. God is good. God can't pass you. God can't ignore you and you survive. The very fact he thinks of you keeps you al alive. When you leave the mind of God, you leave existence. It's dangerous when an eternal God forgets you. God is good. Are we communicating? So, how do we move ourselves daily to a place where it is natural? Mm -hmm. But I have a general expectation that God is good, that good things happen to me, that God can do something good. He's always doing something good. And it's so natural to me. But it's not a crisis. I don't stop because I have been healed. If I've been healed, it's say, thank you, Lord, you have healed me. But I pick up and I move on. Because see news. God is good. It is more news in heaven when a person who was not a believer becomes a believer. That is news in heaven. But when a person had no job gets a job, that's not news in heaven. Among us, bye. Huh? <laughs> It's not news in heaven. The news in heaven is when, a when someone who is an unbeliever becomes a believer. Now angels rejoice. Now the Lord rejoices. Because what has happened is that in all things you decided to yield to his love. That makes him okay. That makes him happy. But at the breaking news, at your nilipata pesa, ah, binguni yu God is good because it ought to be natural. It ought to be natural. So we want to promote everything in our lives. Now, if you look at your own life and do an audit later on, but if you look at your own life, there are various things. We catch in and take a pen and a paper. I call it the audit of faith. Take a pen and a paper. Do an audit of faith. What's an audit of faith? Look at every single thing in your life that you believe God for. Do you know you believe Him differently? If there are very many things in your life, you can have 28 things. And how you believe in those great things are different. There are things you have natural confidence that God will do for you. Other house to Kangi. There are things 
Kwa hiyo list ukiangalia unajua hii Mungu haiko na tore faith. Hii hata ni zile impossible. If you do a faith audit. Now what is beautiful about a faith audit is it makes you aware of the things in your life you have to move to the place of natural faith. Mnanishika hapo. Inakusaidia hapo to move them to natural faith. How do you move them there? That's the class for today. The power of testimony. Amen. So we pull these things from where they were huko chini to where they are because some things you can believe. I don't know if you have heard this story before. I think I've said it here before. Of a fellow who was crossing a, a, two buildings. This is a story. It's a map. A guy who was crossing two buildings on a rope. So you say map. I'm going to say me to tena. Okay, tena say me tena basi. There was a guy who was crossing two buildings on a on a rope and someone was watching him crossing. And every time he was crossing, he tell the guy, I want to go, I want to cross quickly and come back. He tell him, I, 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 I know you can. And the guy would cross and come back. He'd come and say, I can cross carrying a bag on my back. And Mambi, I know you can cross. Jaman a bag and a cross and a rudi. I can cross blindfolded. And Mambi, I know you can. Blindfolded, Jaman and a rudi. I can cross blindfolded carrying a bag. Jaman akavuka a rudi. Mambi, I can cross blindfolded carrying you on my back. Akamambia, kuwa serious. <laughs> God is good. <laughs> but there are things that it's easy to believe because they are not so personal. Ikikuja karibu, eh. Ay, no. Twende pole pole. God is good. I've seen it in ministry where it was easier for me to pray for someone and believe that God will do something for someone, but I couldn't believe it for myself. Hallelujah. I would believe God would give Steve a breakthrough. Steve wants to fly out and I'll believe God and I'll pray for Steve. Na niambia Steve Mungu amefungua mlango utaenda. But niambia Victor utapanda ndege next week. Na kuambia kuja pole pole. God is good. But if you do a faith audit, it's not what I want to do, but if you do a faith audit, you'll realize there are things in your life that you believe God less for. Now those are the areas of your faith. The areas of your walk with God where the devil likes to visit. Hapo na tembeanga. Because Anna drew the ripple effect. A chain is as strong as its weakest link. That is why he understands. He knows you can be full of faith and tell everyone, I believe, I believe. But kuna mahali ikiguswa, you will run. We can be here and say, I've surrendered everything to Jesus. I am here. I'm focused on the Bible class. But there's a phone call that can come in now. Ikutoe timing. Na urudi zero changanyikiwa hapa. Uniangalie, uangalie hivu ni wata tu niende. I have to go this one. Hello. Am I communicating? There are things you might be here and lift your hands and glorify God. But kuna kasimo wa maka SMS kaneza ingia na Bible class ingie maji. Uniona tu nikifanya hivi. Nothing else. I'm just walking. And you don't know what I'm saying. I didn't hear what you said. God is good. Because there are things that come too, too close. Now that is where the power of testimony comes. Because if Christ is enough, then he did everything. Right? So how do I ensure that my life is, is, is growing to a place where there's a manifestation that Christ is truly enough? Because I can't preach about living for Christ until, first of all, we understand he is enough. Because if I tell you about Christ is uh, living for Christ, it's a different sermon. But I can't talk about living for Christ or I died with him and yet he's not it enough. So I have to have a way that I can train myself on a daily basis about him being enough. God is good. And where do we need him to be enough? No. Where do we need him to be? Enough. Because if you want to be unshaken, if you want to be unmoved, then he has to be enough. But I have things I have to do Behind the scenes. I have things I have to do. But will expose this God of mine. Because I'm making, I'm making it known who he is. That's the power of testimony. I only testify of a God who has satisfied me. I can't testify of a God who has not satisfied me. Nanishika. Kama ni kona nja kidogo na uyu mungu. Sizi testify. God is good. Usha ipata ukipua chakula. Ata ikuwe tamu waje. Na hujashiba. Kusema thank you wa enakuma ngumu. Ama ni mimi tu. 
The only difficult. Let me give you a better example. If you want money from someone, you want a particular amount. Maybe you want like a hundred thousand from James. Eh? When they call James, when they James, they need a hundred k. God is good because James and I can come and say pay hundred k. Give you. Say my man James. Yani listen, listen, I'm not saying me. I'm saying for the for the family's sake. Now, if I call James, 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 I need a hundred k. Eh? Give me a hundred k. Then James and I'm Victor or God Jackie Dogo. Then James and Chukwe. And to me, five k. I wanted a hundred and to me five. Una jua una jitanga mkutano kabla sema thank you. Una jongelesha a few times. Una jongelesha ameni chukili yaje. Ameni fikiri yaje kuni pia five k. Ni kwa ntaka hundred. James ana yomiingi. Uta fikiri ya alafuri ya lais. Wacha ni sema asanti. Pengi ne alko anani test. Benu sema asanti na hisi apo hakuna test. But you know it is difficult. Because what I wanted from you, I never got satisfied. Am I making sense? So, Steve and I pay a hundred full. Nikona 105. God is good. The Lord has done above and beyond. But when I stand to testify, I will testify the Lord came through and someone gave me a hundred thousand. I will not mention the guy who gave me five. See, no quality. Because he never satisfied what I wanted. Am I communicating? Ali wacha mahani siku sikia ni kama ni testimony enough to go out to highway. Now this is what I'm talking about. But it's difficult to testify about a God who has not satisfied you. If he satisfies you, then you testify. If you feel kuna gap, how to kwa testify? You won't be able to testify. That is why I'm singing so much about the finished works and about the cross. Let's open Revelation 12:11. You know, I'm very proud of myself. You know why? Since you don't have to be in the Bible class, and you don't have to be in the Bible class, you don't have to That is an achievement. A huge one. <laughs> God is good. God is good. I'm going to be in my house of broken more cups than my children combined. Me. So... You can't go near a huge achievement. My mother would be proud. He survive here, Papa. Go office, she won't get office. She won't get up at Bible class. It's a different testimony. Let's read Revelation 12. What does it say? 12, 11. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just go back to verse 9. Read 9 and 10, please. Then verse 11 is, they overcame. Okay? So, we are tying it to a specific person. See your idol verse. It's touched to who? The enemy. Touch to the enemy means many things. Because when they talk about the great stuff, we know very many things come with the devil. We know there's disease, there's poverty, there is death. There are all these things that the devil comes with, right? They overcame him by two things. One, the blood of the lamb and two, the word of the testimony. Why does the Bible tie those two things together? The Bible doesn't say that they just testified. It was the blood and the testimony. Zirishikana hivyo. The word and the? So if there's the blood, meaning the blood is what gives them the strength to testify. Right? Kumuka damu siyao, damu ni Yesu. God is good. The, the blood comes first. The sacrifice at Calvary pays the price. When the price is paid in Calvary, Christ is enough. He is enough. When he is enough, my testimony is enough to disarm the enemy. God is good. It's, we normally say that in praise, when you praise God, praises disarm the enemy. So I've told you before, praise disarms the enemy. Because what is praise? Praise is basically my testimony of what God has done for me. That is my testimony. That is what praise is. 
That is why I always say, if you're praising God, praise him for what is here. What he has done for me. Don't praise him for putting the stars in heaven. God is good. That doesn't affect you. God is good. But if I praise him because I was unwell and I am well, he is my healer. Or I praise him that I was poor and he was able to lift me up. That is a personal praise. I disarm the enemy. Praise is a testimony. Is a testimony of what God has done for you. When you begin to praise God, what happens? You disarm the enemy. As quickly as that. Because he expects you to do what? To complain. God is good. Now, I want us to jump very quickly. Because I'm talking about a testimony, and I'm talking about uh, the word of the testimony, and why there is power. We will learn a few things today. Of course, the power of testimony, why we should testify, where you should testify, who you testify to. God is good. God is good. Because how I receive from Jesus is based on how often I testify. I had a pastor say very many years ago that those who don't testify, eh? those who don't testify, don't cooperate with the destiny. Those who don't testify, don't cooperate with the destiny. Yeah. I thought he was mad. Let me be honest. But I understood him later. He said that those who don't testify, don't cooperate with the destiny. God is good. That's when I began to really ask questions about testimony. And that's why I always try, every moment, I have to ensure there's a testimony leaving my mouth. God is good. You testify in two ways. You testify by words you speak. You testify by the actions you do. That's how you testify. By words and by actions. Mnanipata. By words and by actions. At times, I might have to testify verbally, and at times, I testify by the actions that I do. Nanipata. Yeah. But those two are very important. That's how we testify. That's what sets us apart, first of all. How, what we do, and what we say. God is good. Now, a testimony is very powerful because a testimony operates in the three dimensions. One, a testimony operates in heaven. A testimony operates on earth and a testimony operates in the underworld. A testimony is in heaven, it is on earth, it's in the underworld. That is why they overcame with the word of the testimony. Testimony in Enanga Binguni, Hampa Nachini. The devil cannot discredit your testimony in heaven. That he cannot. The devil can discredit your testimony on earth. There he can. Here another jaribu. Aje? Very simple things. What kukuja na story kukuhusu. God is good. Story kukuhu? Kukuhusu. Waseme tuliona Steve. Alakua maenda kutembele mtu fulani. Na sukuzi tumiwana Steve. Ataka na jifanya na jifanya mungu. Tuna suspect. Eh? Anaendanga kufanya nini... Hivyo, huko, pali. Mme nyelewa, sindio? I don't know if I'm making sense. It's, it's, when I talk about, about he can get it here on earth, is that what happens when you hear something has been said about someone and you've not even investigated. What is the enemy doing? Discrediting their testimony. Why is it that bad news goes faster when it involves a believer? People don't even investigate. Hapana. We jifanye tu zileo kwa nyumba yako umeokoka. Jifanye tu umeokoka. Then ukasirishwe by your better half. Ufanye tu. Anagokanga na wewe. Na wende umeokoka wewe. Ona sasa, ona sasa. Sisi je. Suddenly, the, everything is tied to that one. Na hendo kuchakosa. Simu tu mwingine, you are peaceful, you are waiting. Kwa sitting room. But they come, they push you. When you respond, they tell you, hasa ye Bible class, une, unendanga kufanya nini? Hiyo na mnaambi wanga huko? Or when something just goes wrong, I heard someone told me that something just went wrong. One thing went wrong. And attached to this person. Akasema, the first thing the husband said is, 
Na unadanga Bible class kufundishwa nini huko sasa? And whatever happened was independent. Independent hata siju nilijaje kwa hiyo hesabu. God is good. At times it is very easy because it is because when it involves you as a, a believer being discredited is the first thing that happens. That's the first way the devil challenges your testimony on earth. In heaven he can touch it. On earth he can make it question. Mnanipata hapo? How does he do it on earth again by bringing doubt to you? That am I good enough? Am I worthy of it? Am I qualified for it? I missed it because they treat me like this because people from my family don't get this. I am normally rejected. Rejection happens to me. I'm normally a baba bado. People always betray me. He brings something so familiar. Ikutwe to timing kidogo. If you testify it means you're not if you don't testify it means you're not satisfied. Hallelujah. Mna mnanishika. Na ndoko maana the moment you give your life to Christ. Understand this. Giving your life to Christ is like coming out of a rehab. God is good. Mtu akitoka rehab, rehab is a very good place. Hakuna pombe, hakuna nini for three months. When you come out of rehab, you realize but ule jamaa alikuwa anozanga bangi kwa barabara akibado wako. The world is the way you left it. That is the funny thing about salvation. But you'll be deep in the Holy Ghost. Now you fly with angels. The moment you say amen and open your eyes, you realize the world is where you left it. If you have if you have an unbelieving spouse, they are waiting for you to remind you the world has not changed. Kama una mtoto They are there to remind you. Hawajabadilika, wanakongoja. Kama uko na deni, unapigiwa saa hiyo. Kukumbushwa, dunia haijaenda mahali. It is right there. To test your reaction. God is good. To test your You have never been testing your salvation until those who love you test you. Good morning. Hapo ni hit home, sio? Haujajaribiwa mpaka wale wanakupenda wa kujaribu na haki utalia machozi utalia hivi mwenyewe ujiulize Mungu kwani Mungu hii hii ndio wokovu God is good <laughs> I'm being very honest But the beautiful thing is that they push you if you don't break they break That's the secret The problem is we normally break Sahi tumezoeana tungoje tungoje kidogo eh hata Yesu alisema to confront yani we have to confront this issue now god is good god is good i'm a person who believes always show love <laughs> always god is good wakati those who love you hurt you when my wife hurts me the most is when i want to show her love the most god is good yeah <laughs> Jaki tunakuona. I'm serious. Because at that moment, at that moment the enemy is discrediting my testimony here. Mnanishika. It doesn't mean that I'm perfect. It simply means this that I'm acknowledging what God is doing in my life and I will continue in that line. Haki mnanielewa hapo. Lakini narudia tu. Haujajaribiwa vizuri mpaka ujaribiwe na wale wanakupenda. Because how do you know that you are not a mukora? Now you are not a mukora. You are now saved. They saw you when you are painting Nairobi red. They saw you. How do you know that you are painting Nairobi red? So how do you know? I love you. So we are now waiting. We are now waiting. Waiting for what? To say me sawa. Until they find a place of party A, who you are in. Now they'll begin to yield. They'll begin to yield and they'll begin to turn around. And now change will begin to come to them. Many shikabo. That is a life lesson eh? Yes. So don't think that if you're lost in the Holy Ghost, how to jaribiwa na wenye wanakupenda? Ndio tajaribiwa mo. At times when things that don't make sense. Utaangalia usichangae. He! Sawa. Nilifikiria tuko wakati wa kuomba. Na bomb the bomb has come. They are the ones who hurt you the most, they are the ones who push your faith to the limit because if they can break you, then anyone can break you. Not that If those you love can break you but weke a salvation candle uingie kwa mwili jua tu ule jamaa uza mahindi kwa barabara will get you tomorrow morning as sure as the sun rises in the morning but if you can withstand the onslaught there then nothing will shake you outside 
You understand me now? Nothing will shake you outside. But if you are shaken internally and you break, everything else will break you. Kazini to wanana kana na Bible lunch time. Na saa kumi, uka kwa WhatsApp group ya kampuni, uka tukana watu ngombe, mbuzi, mushindwe, njini mashetani, kwa WhatsApp group ya ofisi. Na wendo wale suwanga manga, ati fellowship ya ofisi, I'm the one who began the fellowship at my office. Na saa kumi, unetona ngombe. God is good. That's what I mean by the testimony on earth. That one the devil will try. That one he will try. That one he will push. With temptation, he will push with falsehood. He will push with false accusations about you. That one he will test. With situations. To test your faith, he will do it. Your mungu wakiongea na job, anaambia Lucifer, has you seen my servant? There's no one like him on the planet. Okay? What is God talking about there? Job's testimony on earth. That's what Lucifer comes to test. When I can build that come and sit with him, they are sitting to do what? To test his testimony on earth. No job and kusema mimi ni mzuri, I'm the comfort of the widows, I'm the one who does this and anza kujaribu kujikumbusha because he's also questioning himself. When God says don't touch his life, it's because God is telling Lucifer that his testimony in heaven you cannot touch. You can't hear how is gusa. That's why he was tested. Whenever you are tested in your faith, it's your testimony on earth being tested. You'll understand why I talk about the importance of testifying. God is good. Then we have a testimony that is in the underworld. Demons know your testimony. Demons know your testimony. They know your testimony. They know how much you believe God. Demons know. That's why in the book of Acts, we find the sons of Sceva. Acts 19. What do they do? These guys come say, we are casting out devils. Huh? And they are casting out devils saying, we cast you out in the name of Jesus, the one that Paul and Peter preach. But the demons understand something. That you don't have a testimony that you are a believer. There is no record in hell that you have left us. <laughs> Where about me? Admin. Oh, WhatsApp group. Jesus we know. Paul we know. Peter we know. Who are you? And those demons, these those demons beat them. Because they have the testimony that they have in the underworld is different. How many members? God is good. And the same thing happens when you find the disciples in the book of John somewhere. The disciples come and tell Jesus, there are some guys out there who are casting out demons in your name. You should call fire from heaven. And Jesus says, no, 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 no. They are for us. Sour. Yes, they are doing it in our name. How and way to? Why? They have a testimony that is known in heaven and in the underworld. You cannot fight the devil if you are a member. Yesu Munyal Sema, demons don't fight themselves. Dokumana Kwena Komganga is a waste of time. Know which doctor cures. Sime Sema Tena. Know which doctor if you know a relative who goes to a witch doctor, Mwambia Victor, he says, God is good. He says, I'm going to go to Mwambia direct and answer Koroga. So, Mwambia Victor, he says, But please, Mwanga, Steve, I can't come Mwanga, at anomu wana kichwa, kenya Mwanga atafanya, atatua hiyo kini meyeku hapo kwa kichwa, ayeke hapa kwa. Atambia Steve, si kichwa imeisha? Eh, enda home. Steve, akuja. Kichwa uliponya, lakini hapa imauma. Aha, hii sasa, nilo nyanya yako mwenye alifanya, ndo alikuroga. Atoe hapa, alete huku. Doko mwana watu shinda kwa mganga. Every day, wanashindanga tu hapo. Unarudi next week, tena. He only moves it. God is good. They cannot take it out. God is good. Ukisa mwana nyanya kwa mganga, haki muurumie. Juye ni ujinga hali ya ju. God is good. Tuelele mbele. So what is a testimony? A testimony is a confession. A testimony is a, is a confession. By words or deeds. Based on experience. Faith or somebody else's experience. 
it can be in the present or it can be in the future. Manishika. So who can testify? Anyone can testify. Anyone can testify. The Bible says this. But if, you can, but if you believe with your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, then you shall be saved. Anyone can testify. Testimony is not limited. It's not limited to one person. Anyone can testify. Anyone can testify. And that's why that group of disciples went out testifying Jesus, casting out devils, and Jesus was okay with it. Akisema, if they are not against us, then let them continue. Sawa, sawa. God is good. Anyone can do what? Can testify. We open Matthew 12, 37. Please read. For by your words, mm -hmm. you will be justified and acquitted, and by your words, you will be condemned and sentenced. You hear that? By your words, you'll be done what? Justified and acquitted. Now, do you remember? Did I preach this last week? God is good. When the Bible says that by your words, you'll be acquitted, but by your word, you'll be acquitted. Remember, the devil wants to have a case against you. That's the one thing the devil wants. I want to have a case against you. If I have a case against you, then you cannot reign. Menishika, if you go back to Genesis chapter 1, the purpose of us being created was what? To rule, to have dominion. You know that part of the story, right? The moment that sin enters and condemnation befalls us, we can no longer rule as we used to. We can no longer be in that position of power and authority as we ought. Because sin has entered. Now, if the devil has a case against you, if the devil has a case against you, I repeat, it is difficult for you to overturn him because he is justified. When we teach spiritual warfare, I'll be teaching it in the next uh, few weeks, spiritual warfare, we normally say that the enemy only thrives where he has legal right. In spirituality, there's no vacuum. There's no vacuum. Hakunanga no man's land. Adi hapa, mungu yuko hapa, Holy Spirit on a dwell hapa. Stay on a dwell pale, I love hapa in no man's land. Hakunanga no man's land. Either God is there or the devil is there. But the devil will never encroach into your life unless he has a legal right. God is good. And that legal right is what he had for a long time until Calvary when the Bible says that God, Jesus made a spectacle of the devil, Ali Mwaibisha. So when the devil loses his legal right, it means that I can be able to cast him out. I can cast him out of my finances. I can cast him out of my health. I can cast him out or out of my family because he has no legal right. Are we communicating? But if I see him and I manifest kwam totoangu, I can quickly get up and say, you have no legal right here. God is good. God is good. Are we communicating? That is why even our children, our children, we deny the devil legal right when we give our children to God. Hakim Nanishika. Our children, we give them to God. When that spirit comes to attack them, because the devil at times will try to attack your children, will try to get you through your children. That's why you give your children to God. Yes. The moment you do that, the devil loses legal right. Because you can stand and tell the devil, this child I gave to Jesus. God is good. communicate. That is why there is someone here um, at a testify. The daughter was continuously sick. Hospitali leo, kesho, next week, hivyo. Membership. Nikuenda kurudi. Nikamulisa siku moja, she used to bring the child to the office, I pray. One day I asked her, have you dedicated your daughter? Mdedicate first, but nakanambia bado. Nikamambia mleta, to mdedicate. Akamuleta, to in the office. Hapa kwa office hapa. Nikadedicate yu mtoto. Yu mtoto bade yu siku ata homa. Kakanona, kakanakanza kurefuga. And the child was tiny. The moment the child was given to God, 
the, anything that the devil wants to do, it is difficult because the child belongs to God. Am I making sense? The child belongs to God. The devil has done the goal right. My action has testified that the child belongs to, to God. The mistake we make is that we want to cast him out and he has legal right. Have you ever seen a member of the Hakuna kitu mbaya kwa deliverance kama shetani ya kwambie siendi. It's the most annoying thing. But why does he say that? I don't, that he has what? Legal authority. Where does it come from? Through condemnation. Misikia hiyo. That is condemnation basically. Kali umana ni kona namba yako. Imagine tu Lucifer na namba yako. That's a tragedy. Kumlanga kama naongea vitu mba vitu mbaya. Sorry, that is the deliverance minister in me. <laughs> but I'm saying that imagine when something like that happens. But what the enemy likes is this. Is that if I can't testify, but I have been forgiven. If I can't testify the finished works of Christ, what happens if I can't testify? There's condemnation, Romans 8.1. If there's condemnation, he has legal right. The devil cannot nullify what happened in Calvary 2,000 years ago. The devil can make you doubt what happened in Calvary. Nona yoga. Anajua haezi gusa Calvary. Mimi nilidisamiwa. But because Steve hajui nilidisamiwa, wacha ni kuja niambia Steve. Hasa Steve anja kusema, that's why I have a problem. And you'll forgive me if I step on your shoes. But I have a problem. When I hear people saying, you know I am such a sinner. Ah! Do you know what you are saying? You are telling the enemy that Calvary did nothing. Unambia Lucifer, Calvary haiku nisaidia. Hasa no jamaa anakuja, anavuta kiti, anaka kwa kusitundumi yako, anachukua popcorn. Anasema, wacha tuone hivile inaenda sasa. God is good. God is good. I don't understand why when at times things are going so bad, someone says, nataka niende, nikalilie mungu. Why am I crying to God? Convince. You know my daughter cries when she's trying to manipulate me. Haki. Ni mwonge ya vbaya. Hini awakening minds Bible class. We are awakening minds. We are awakening minds. That this and this is happening. It's happening so bad. Let me look for the face of God that I may plead. And imagine Job himself says, I look for him, I can't find him. That I may plead my cause. And the Lord, when the Lord appears, the Lord does not tell Job to plead his cause. The Lord tells Job who he is. Job anasema mwenyewe. I wish I could find him. If I could find him, I would tell him my plea. Ni muambie kesi yangu. When God appears, ambiangi Job, kesi yako niambie. When God appears, he tells Job who he is. Did you put the stars there? Did you put that there? I am God, you are man. Speak. Then Job realizes at that moment is when he says what? Oh, I have greatly sinned against the Lord. Understand that? Yes. When we think that, when we, when, 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 that's why I have a problem with those, with people who say those things. People who are telling us, oh, you know, we are all, we are, yes, Paul says, we have all sinned and fallen short and short, short of the glory of God. But you don't take it out of context. The context is, he's pointing the grace of God in Calvary. He's pointing out, we all need to apply that grace. We all need to touch that cross. We all need to be aware it is there. All of us need the blood. That's what he's simply saying. We all need the blood. So I can't judge Steve, he needs the blood. I need the blood too. Steve akilemewa, ni sawa, na wame kuna damu, hajaisha nguvu, tuende kwa damu. But the moment ukuji, Steve, anataka kumambia, Victor, anataka unisedia kuomba, nilianguka, I'm such a sinner. Juni Steve, ni ngumi tu. Kuna kitu ngini? The moment I do that, do you know what I'm doing? I'm equipping the devil with my destiny. Now the devil sits. And I say, Man, you are a sinner. Do you deserve? Do you deserve? No. Another ko asainiana sasa. Wewe enda ushike kazi, wewe shika marriage, wewe shika hile, wewe shika hile, hivyo. Suddenly, there's chaos. Because you forgot what the cross did. You can never condemn yourself with your tongue. In good times and in bad times, your tongue can never condemn you. Your tongue must always liberate you from the jaws of the enemy. Mnanishika? 
but my tongue is what sets me free. I can testify to my death or I testify to my, uh, to my uh, acquittal. When a test has come into my life, nimejaribiwa leo, things are not going the way I want. Quickly, I must remember one thing. The fact that they are not going the way that I want doesn't mean that God is angry, doesn't mean that God has forgotten me, doesn't mean that God is unable. Am I making sense? I start from there. This has nothing to do with forgiveness. I am loved, I am forgiven, I am accepted. This issue that is coming into my life is independent. Therefore, as a son of God, Father, you will glorify yourself the way you deem fit. Nanishika, I will not say this disease has come to me because the Lord is not happy. Hey? God is good. Miss your contract because God is not happy. Hello. No one gets by. No one's gonna soprano up. I'm trying to be nice. God is good. So I said that if I don't condemn myself, then I can reign. God is good. Now, I want us to look at the power of your testimony. What power does your testimony give you? Okay? Now remember, when to testify. This is just another point, by the way. You testify anytime you have a chance. Mnanishika, you testify anytime you have a chance. Anytime you have a chance. Hakitupa tu moja for free. God is good. Wakati umekako nyumba yako, Una watch TV, you make a good do heavy. God is good. Minding no one's business. But your own. Sili uko kwako. No make a good do heavy. At that moment, you can throw a testimony. Just, you can just speak. And tell God, I'm enjoying this wonderful house because of your goodness. Kama siwe ni kwa chokora. You are a good God. Hapo tu. There's something that has changed the atmosphere by saying that. Si lazima utoke kwa sitting room uzime TV, uende kwa war room, ujifungie kwa war room, ndio muanze kumwambia. Ni hapo tu hapo. Umeshikana naye hapo, mkamaliziana hapo and you move on. If and the Holy Ghost will always provoke that. Now what does it mean? It means every progress I make in my life, I am aware it is the Lord. When I'm aware it is the Lord, I don't have personal attachment to how fast I grow and how far I grow. Because I always remember. When I use my phone, Lord, thank you. Because you are singing when I see him. No man there. Umetupa ka testimony hapo. What happens? The Lord is in control. Amen? There is no part that the enemy will make, will come and accuse you, but it is by your power. Anytime I say, anytime you remember those things, you look at your kids running in the house, unambia mungu, hey mungu. We? Hata hawa ulindubariki now. You know, at times you don't know what parents say. So I've prayed you safe. <laughs> God is good? Yes. But at times you look at your children. At times just looking at them. Una muangalia tu hivi. Nambia mungu wa santi. Thank you for this wonderful child. Pali umu toto umemutoa ata sijui. Nwepo nyo nampeleka pia sijui. But you're a great God. What have you done? Testified who God is in the life of that child. Am I making sense? What you are doing that time is that you are protecting yourself, your environment. It is now obvious that everything around you, it is God. Ukifungua fridge, unatoka, unafungua fridge kutoka yogurt. Otuwe tu yogurt, nama, hey, yogurt. Unafungua fridge, unangale fridge, meja hivi, ukitua yogurt. Unambe, yesu, hey, yesu, man. Kasi wewe, hata sige kwa wana fridge. Tuanzia tu hapo. Sige kwa wana fridge. Waja ya kueka, sige kwa wana fridge. Ukifunga yu fridge. Hiyo yoga tukikunywa ni kama mana from heaven. Because you have recognized his provision. Am I making sense? Those moments now, it's becoming natural. So if you have noticed he's the one who filled your fridge, when your fridge is empty, isn't it easier to remind him? You did it last time. But because last time you didn't say, God is good. Last time you didn't say, ni kama, in, can I give an example? I like talking about marriage, eh? Because I like dealing with marriages. It's like in marriage. Ladies, good morning. Good morning, how are you? You know God loves you? Yes. <laughs> now I'm saying something nice. 
Still want to check. I'm saying something nice. <laughs> you know, I, I had a guy in my office this week, and he really made my day. Um, the wife, the wife asked him, "How does she look?" And he told her that she does not look good in the dress that she wore. And I told him that, and he said that we have an open relationship with my wife. Um, we tell each other openly how we look. I told him, um, there is no woman on the planet who wants to be told she looks bad. He only got to drop, now we ling and dani. Yes. All through why say mat ye I'm being honest when I come by a young pana. But those are the few times that God allows you not to be honest. You can die in the house <laughs> for the sake of the gospel. <laughs> So, again, so, so then what do I say? What do I say? I told him, you know, two things. One, of course, you can only comment about a dress that you bought. If you didn't buy the dress, keep quiet. Namaza, keep your opinion to yourself. Come on, one go on there. Come on, one go on Yama. Namaza, no opinion yako. We don't get your photographs are brown. We move on. Remember, number one. Number two, the Kamuriza, number two, did you ever comment on a day that she dressed well? Because if you saw she had dressed in a particular way last week, and you mentioned how she good, good she looked last week, eh? today you look, remember, no, do I look good today? Yes. Even last week, that dress looked very good. In her IQ, she'll know today she looks funny. Simda Sikanisha. Udo, 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 Sikanisha, Apo. Udo, Udo, Leo, Leo, Naka, funny. Like in the June last week, in the Lizemo, Lukavi Zuru last week, I have more of the Leo, Yakusama Kakitu. But since Jai Sema, I can't comment. Nanyamaza too? Yes. In funniness and in goodness. I hold your hand and we go where we are going. Nanavumilia. <laughs> because last time I said something, it is easier to tap back to the power of the testimony because you testified yesterday. If you testified five years ago, it's difficult to tap back to it. Am I making sense? But if I'm used to testifying, Testimonies are new every day because every day I'm provoking heaven with something new. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we communicating? You can run dry of testimonies when you stop testifying. So you have to keep on testifying. Now the problem is you want God to give us the big things, the big house. Yet, how kulala nja in a season ulufa kulala nja? Mungu asante. Hatakai milikuwa skuma they really understand more than is Kumawiki. But Lord, it was you. It could have been worse. When I not recognize that, I recognize him in that moment, he was still providing. My mind, natural faith, knows what he provides. Even when it's bad, he provides. My mind knows that. When I need a big provision, I can tap into that because I've always been testifying. What is the power of your testimony? Number one, the power of your testimony, that your testimony will always, always give you influence. Testimony will always give you influence. One, physical influence. Two, spiritual influence. Your testimony will always give you influence. Spiritually and physically. If I keep on entering my house every day and say, Lord, thank you. This is your sanctuary. Thank you for your sanctuary. The day that there's a foreign spirit in my house, and I know there's a foreign spirit in my house, I'll say, Father, this is your sanctuary. That statement. That statement is enough. I realize that the more I testify, the less work I do spiritually. Manishika, every time I enter my house, the first thing I say is that. Good morning. Manishika, that's the first thing. Because it helps me to make sure that I'm conscious my environment is His. God is good. God is good. It is easier when I testify that way of a particular area that I'm going. Lord, everywhere I go, you've given it to me as a place of dominion. So, I go. I do what I want to do. God is good. I had someone in my office this week who wanted to pray in my office. I had to pray in my office. I had to pray in my office. I had to pray in my Wisdom comes in bits. Na huyu li mpita asubui. Akamaliza, because in his mind he thought, but I don't know what I do. God is good. 
And it was okay. Nikamwambia ondoa omba haki please. Akamwambia kama nakwambia sikiza. Mimi nilikutangulia. Mimi niliomba kitambo. If someone can come to my office and pray and have spiritual authority in, in my in my office, I would rather close that office. Simple as that. If you can come to my office and spiritually control it, haki sinitoke hapo. What am I doing? God is good. Can I bring this more personally? If someone can come and dictate the spiritual climate of your house, haki hama. Hapo si kwako. Unadanganya watu ni kwako. Nimeongea vibaya. Haki mmenyamaza kwanza hii side. Kwaya imenyamaza hii side. <laughs> are, you, are you communicating? Yeah. And I, I, I was very frank. I told him. I told him understand this. That I don't react in prayer. Okay? All the way from my house to this place. When I step to this place. There are things I've testified. That no one can come into my office and steal that atmosphere. Na siya tisijaka na devotion po kwa yu kwa yu ofisi. Am I making sense? Siya tisijaka na mtuwa menda kwa mganga hapo. But if someone can come to your house na akuroge kwa nyumba yako, unadanganya nani nyumba ni yako? Si useme tu nyumba ulipewa by mistake. Hakibu na niangale vibaya. Kwa ni muna rogonga kwenu? Am I communicating? Yes! If a house elf comes to your house and she's doing witchcraft in your house, you cannot fail to have sleep tonight. Ni enda wana enda. Si wewe. Yu nyumba ni yako. Muna nishika. The house is yours. If you walk at a desk and you sit at your desk and you testify the goodness and the power of God there, no one can come to your desk. Aanje kupaka vitu watu paka kwa madesk hivi. Anapakia nani? Haya. God is good. Don't get your spirit to offer next week, but one. Number two. Testimony activates the promises of God. Testimonies activate the promises of God. Testimony activates the promises of God. Remember I said it can be, testimony can be in the past, can be what someone, something has happened in someone else's life, or moving on to the future. But so you hear, um, in the old covenant, you'd hear Abraham, you'd hear Jacob saying, the father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Why is he mentioning this? He's testifying who God is based on what God has done for his forefathers. So this activates promises for him. Am I making sense? Yeah. So at times when, I'm, when I testify, I can activate the promise of God. Okay? One of the ways that you can activate the promise of God is a very strange way. For example, I normally say there are things you can say even into your life. Okay? You can say things into your life as a testimony. But I thank God for my good health. I will dance at my daughter's wedding. Meshika, that time your daughter is two years old. What are you saying? Uta ka ka, see you? You'll be around to dance. Are we communicating? I can activate promises just by testimony. I can testify. I can say I've been young and I'm old now. I've never seen the righteous lack any bread. You've taken care of people. God is good. I can see someone, God has done something great for, and I testify what the Lord has done in their life. To activate my own promises. Am I making sense? Yes. I, that's why I couldn't have a room in salvation. She has a because we are a No. I have no space for that. If I, am, if I can testify and tell God, God, you have blessed Steve. You have given Steve great things. You are a good God. And I know that the same God, the same God who has blessed Steve, has got something for me. There automatically what am I doing? I am activating my own promises. God is good. Sometimes you don't know the promises God has for you. You can never know all of them. Number three, your testimony gives you power over your enemies. Your testimony gives you power over your enemies. Now, enemies are kufangi. They never die. They are being manufactured now while you are here. So I do wana piku wa mahali. God is good. So as you know, someone is doing something, or you start asking yourself, "Now who you are?" After niliwele mkuasi ya wapi? They are being manufactured now. The Lord has a new door for you in your life. An enemy has been manufactured there. God is good. He has blessed you with something. A door. Someone is waiting for you. 
Now, how do you get power of your enemies? By testimony. This is getting the story of David and Goliath. 1 Samuel 17, 46. 1 Samuel 17, 46. And I like David because David begins. David understands one thing. He understands his disadvantage in height, disadvantage in weight, disadvantage in age, disadvantage in skill. David, 1 Samuel 17, 46. David has every disadvantage possible to fight a giant. But what David beats Goliath with is a testimony. He begins by saying, The Lord God took me from the hands of a lion. The Lord took me out of the hands of a bear. The Lord Almighty shall deliver you into my hands. That is what brings down Goliath. God is good. This is the testimony of David. The testimony will always give you an advantage over your enemies. You have an adversary at work, an adversary ahead of you, something ahead of you, your testimony. If you can testify, if you can testify the victory of God, because the victory of God nullifies your disadvantage. Nanishika. Because David Akujapale, me, you know people think that David Alkwa na ongea tu. David Akwa na akwa na prove ya brother Zake. David was telling himself. Me, I believe David was reminding himself that the Lord took me from the hand of that. The Lord took me from the hand of that. Akafanya one plus one. Akasema sa huri nani? Akama the Lord will put you in my hands. The testimony, power of your testimony, will give you power over your enemies. God is good. And I want to say this about money especially. And this has become strongly in my spirit and I'll say it. Many a times, one of the biggest enemies a human being faces, God is good, is the pursuit, the lack of money. God is good. Money is a, money is a very interesting thing. Daniel Sama, it answers many questions. I was laughing with the Canada Dominic, I was telling them that one of the best breakthroughs a human being needs in their life is when you buy things, not because of how much money you have, but because of what your heart wants. God is good. God is good. Ushai need notice that when you are broke is when you are most hungry. <laughs> okay. When you are broke, you are most hungry. Because now, you, you, the money has limited you on what you can eat. But when you have money, you can choose to fast. In fact, fasting is valid when you have money. When you are broke, don't fast. Una need the money, your food. Una need to boost the money, your provision. Uzi fast. I'm serious. It was easier to fast when I had no money for lunch. When I put it on the to the whole day we are fasting. Truth is, you are too broke to have lunch. That is, that is the reality. But what kind of person comes to food? We are going to food. God is good. No, I choose a pan. Leon, then I took a. We get we pay to salad. You know, 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 you you know, you know, you know, you know, you in the case of Mosambili, alafu na bajia, u mix na masala chips, alafu nekele cabbage ju. Because of where you are, God is good. But there's something interesting here. Is that whenever it comes to resources, all gold and silver belongs to God. How we testify about our finances is the most important thing. God is good. The testimony that you give in the adversity you face, in the lack of provision in your life, is very important. Very important. What you say when you what you say when you don't have money, and what you say when you have money, are two of the most important statements you'll say that involve your financial blessing on this planet. Hallelujah. Because there are times when the Lord comes through for us. When he comes through for you in a big way. 
we fail to testify. We fail to testify two ways. One, to testify what he has done and to testify about where you're going. There are some breakthroughs the Lord gives you, but you have to stand on and tell God, Hapa sirudi. Huku sirudi. Tumamaliza na mungu. Huku siru? Sirudi. Na sasa I will make an action of someone who is not going back. God is good. Because when it comes to finances, testifying with your mouth is not enough. The action that follows is important. The action that follows is, is important. It's as important as your testimony. God is good. Now you testify, I'll never have debt again. Hallelujah! Are we communicating? <laughs> There's an action that follows it. I wish I would talk about this longer. But that is one of the key things that makes us go down. Or when the Lord has provided, now I have a mindset of fear. I begin to forget his Jehovah Jireh, he provided. My job has never been Jireh. My husband has never been Jireh. My wife has never been Jireh. God has always been Jireh. It is him who provided. And that's why I normally believe that if the Lord has given grace for something, do it. Amen? The problem is some of us live in so much fear. So much fear. The Lord has blessed you, but you have too much fear. Too much fear of being poor, but you live like a poor person. You are a manifestation of poverty, yet the Lord has blessed you financially. Come on, i by a God is good. That's how some people behave. The Lord has blessed you, but instead of acting like you're blessed, moving like you're blessed, giving like you're blessed, blessing others like you're blessed, you hide like you've not been blessed. So when I there, you're a walking manifestation of poverty. No Number four. Your testimony authenticates the reality of what God will do in your life. It authenticates the reality of what God will do in your life. A testimony will do. At times, faith is good, but me testifying, okay, is important to make it real. That I will get married. Eh? kama inakani kama mutu wajafinya macho, but I will get married. God is good. I will not die poor. Are we, are we together? Hmm? One of the most break, powerful breakthrough statements I said in my life. One day I'll say, I'll write them down, all of them, in the same way to But one of the things I said one time when I was very annoyed about where I was, and I was tired of where I was, I got up and I remember listening to the car. I was going to worship and I had done the shouting and screaming and yelling for a while and I had not seen any breakthrough. I was tired of shouting that day. And I sat and I looked, and I looked, and I looked. And I remember getting a phone call when I was there from my agent for the house. And I picked up the phone, and he talked. And when he talked, he finished. He said many things, I don't remember what he said, I just kept quiet. Then when he finished talking, I told him, I told him, then I hung the phone. Nikaka. Nikasimama, nikaangalia north, nikaangalia south. Nikasema, tukubali yani. I stood, this is what I said. Jesus, let's agree something. And this is the word that will leave my lips today. It will be recorded in heaven, in earth, and the demons have to hear this. This day. I will not die like this. I will not live like this. There will have to come a time when I come out of this situation, there has to come a time when you have to be glorified in my life. That has to happen. Let us agree now. But do what you are doing. Test me as you test me. I don't care. But I will not die like this. And I won't live like this. I took my headphones, I come Fuko, and I went home. God is good. And I went home. 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 I because it came to a place where I understood something. That testimony at that point authenticated what the Lord was going to do. Because I believe that is when the ball began to roll. Are we communicating? 
At times you have to be bold enough to stand because your testimony will authenticate what God is supposed to do for you. Ndio mwenye utasema na unaijuanga. Because nilikuwa nimechoka. God is good. And there is nothing new I'm telling him. But I knew we can agree on one thing. I will not die like this. Sisi ishi milele. Hiyo tukubaliane. Saa hii sawa, lakini milele? Ah, please. <laughs> no. Are you communicating? God is good? God is good? Number five, testimony sustains the miracles in your life. Testimony sustains the miracle in your life. This one you can say I'm a living testimony. God is good. It eliminates, I mean it, it, it sustains the miracle in your life. A miracle has been done. But the more I testify, the more I sustain it. And now if you wonder why, whenever I preach, I always have a testimony. If you wonder why whenever I preach, I always have a testimony. When I talk, when I minister, I always have a testimony. Do you know why? Because of this reason. It sustains the miracle in my life. Because always I remember it is by the, it is by the grace of God. Sikujifikisha hapa, niliwaambia, mimi was born a stammerer. Mimi sifai kuwa hapa. God is good. Tukubaliane, si ndio? Nafaka nimejifi? Nimejificha. So, every time I testify, every time I testify, every time I testify, that is important. God is good. God is good. It sustains a miracle in your life. And this is why I also go, I'll go to something else. Small things we have and we do. Small things we do. One, the music you play in your house. That's a testimony. God is good. That's a testimony. The music that plays in your car. That's a, that's a testimony. Hello? Mnanishika? Yes. Such small things are your testimony. What you watch in your house. Those are testimonies. Small things. Because if, if, if at all a policeman comes to your car and asks your worship, anakuwa disarmed kwanza. God is good. But akuja pale ask your gengeton. We have a different discussion. Are you communicating? There are times that, that those small things you do, just sitting at your desk and playing worship, is a testimony of who God is in, in your life. Tulikuwa na Haman siku ingine. Haman aliamua kuni join kwa gym. Chani waambie. Yes. Haman aliona there's a lot of progress here. <laughs> So, so we were the Haman were working out. And so we are there and uh, we are outside in the field and we are doing those funny things. And uh, we, we, we came late and so the, the coach who trainers was training us and was training another lady. And so this lady had put um, her music there and it's playing on uh, the Bluetooth speakers and it's playing music we don't know. So me and Haman, we are coming, we are doing our running, then she turns and asks us, um, you guys are free to put the music you want. So to come up here, okay, sir, us, 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 we're okay. So should I ignore? She says, what music do we listen to? I can put for you. She said, we listen to gospel music. To Konambe. Okay. Aka hang. Aka kwa too busy. Aka mbapi. She said, mumbled things. And then we continued. Eh? God is good. And they used to organize things. They used to organize uh, some groups. Guys go to wear and drink water. Many kata ku invite you from that day. Nikata ku invite you. Invite Zilisha. Pop! Yadola, ata huwa atu ambiwi. Why? Because that, that was my chance to testify. Siku mambia, you are playing that music. I don't know. Mini nyamaza to me have come to work out. But aka ni uliza. Hambi music is a gospel. Aka tinga nyikiwa. God is good. God is good. It sustains the miracle in your life. Number six. Testimony eliminates doubt. Testimony eliminates doubt. If you always testify, you doubt less. If you don't testify, you doubt more. Genesis 20, 22, 14. Abraham, the son is asking him, where will the lamb come from? And he says, God will provide. The Lord will provide. It is the most serious statement you can say in your life yet the most powerful one 
that God will provide. God knows. There are people, someone in the flesh, your statement in a senior to the core. Watch and come to Leo. Someone in the flesh, umwambie, akulize, where will school fees come from? God will provide. Uskim na ba? Ame wangali wetu. Jua huyo akwa kwa mwili na muache. Usimusumbwe. Imani yake iko hapo. Ni tangible faith. Where is the money? Am I making sense? But if you always testify, God will provide. God will make a way. God knows what I need. God is in control. You say that, it might look like you are crazy. But you are not. You are testifying. You are eliminating doubt in your life. When you eliminate doubt, what happens? You increase faith. You increase belief. Amen? You increase belief. You have been given a hard task at work. How will you do it? I don't know how I'll do it. But God will give me a way. God will give me a way. I need this much money. I don't know where it comes from. God will provide it. I need to talk to so and so. What will I say? I don't know what I'll say. The Lord will give me the words to say. Testimony takes away doubt. Always testify. Ukifika mwisho, ruja testimony. Angalia account, angalia bill. The only distance to cover that is God will provide. Hakuna distance ingine in between. Kuna ingine kwe? Only God can bridge that gap. You are unwell, you don't know what will happen. Only God. So unasema tu, God will provide. God knows. Na hiyo statement unajiambianga. Ukisema na sauti, Nunaambia mtu mwenye haelewi usianze kumprovia ati wacha nikwambie kuna siku nyingine nilikuwa nimekwama na a uh, uh, you wasting time muache focus number testimony reminds your situation of the god you serve testimonies remind your situation of the god you serve this is daniel in the den of lions this is esther before the king this is David before Goliath. You know, this is Paul before, you know, Ag before Ag um, Agrippa. All these people that, all these stories you hear in the, in the Bible is a situation is before will remind the situation of who God is. God is good. 2 Timothy 4.18. Can we read that? Amen. Amen. Masikia hiyo. It reminds my situation of the God I serve. He's a God who delivers. He's a God who redeems. He's a God who fights. God is good. Number eight. Testimony builds your confidence and increases your faith. Testimony will build your confidence and increase your faith. That is a testimony. Do you know who my God is? God is good. God is good. Nanishika, testimony builds your confidence and increases your faith. Acts 27, 33, 34. Acts 27, 33, 34. This is the Apostle Paul at the shipwreck. Akembe watu amukeni kuleni. None of you will die. Eh? None of you will do what? Will die. They get the other side, they don't die. Confidence. God is good. God is good. Now, I'll show you in a minute very quickly why, how it increases your faith and your confidence. But number nine, testimony protects you from judgment. Your testimony protects you from judgment. When I testify, I'm protected from judgment. Now, very quickly, what do you testify about? I'm going to give you nine simple things to testify about. This will help you. Okay? You can create your own as life continues. Eh? Feel free. <laughs> you can increase the nine eh? to 900. Okay? But I'm bringing this just to build on the last two. Number one, you testify about the promise God has given you. Always testify about the promise he has given you. Atakama haujaiona, testify. Testify of the promise, testify of the promise. Caliban and Ambia Joshua, the Lord promised me when I was 40, he'll give me this land. I am now 80. I'm sure he sang that thing for 40 years. That's why he says, I'm as strong as I was when I was 40. If you testify of the promise, you can be preserved. You get me? You testify of the promise, you can be 
preserved. To always testify about the promise God has given you. Always. God is good. It might, you might feel like it's delaying, but the more you testify, the more it comes. Number two, you testify about the mercy of God. You testify about the mercy of God. This means that you're always telling yourself how I have been forgiven. I am eternally forgiven. God is not angry at me. God has forgiven me. God is merciful. God is merciful. He idea. But even the day when we to traffic, you turn back and say, the Lord is merciful. The devil does not condemn you. He loses the power to affect your day. But when you come to traffic, you get a zini, you get a salmon, you get a salmon, you get a salmon, you get a salmon, you get a traffic. If you get a salmon, you get a salmon, you get a salmon. God is good. <laughs> okay? Always remember he is merciful. Tell yourself that every time. When you feel as though you've done something wrong, when you feel as though you've gone against the, uh, something that you feel, this I have done, definitely, Lord, I feel this is against you. Instead of starting to say, I'm such a sinner, say, Lord, I thank you that you're merciful, that you always forgive me, that I'm eternally forgiven. The more you mention forgiveness, the freer you live. Amen? So that's how. The devil can't manipulate you. Number three, testify about being a co heir with Christ. Testify about being a co heir with Christ. I'm a child of God. I'm a son of God. I'm a daughter of God. Testify every time. So, to me, he come a leverage for my This is more powerful than quoting a scripture in prayer. Hakim Nanishikapo. It's more powerful. People say the most powerful prayer to make is based on scripture. No. The most powerful prayer to make is based on position. Not on scripture. Based on position. As a son, I have more authority in prayer. If the neighbor comes and tells me to give him, to give him my car, I'll tell the neighbor, you're mad. Atakujan are good words. But if my son tells me, it's a different discussion. Because of position. Always Justify of your position. I am a child of God. I'm a daughter of God. I'm a daughter of God. Lord, because I am your daughter, you will open this door for me. Because you are my daughter, you'll protect me. Because I'm your daughter, you'll give me favor. Because I'm your daughter, you'll, 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 you'll cover me. I'm your, you'll send the right person. Because I'm your son. I'm a co heir with Christ. I have authority over this because I'm a co heir. Always mention. Sila zima uingie kwa meeting wanze kubind na kwa unbind. Ingie kwa meeting katu chini. Sema I'm a co heir with Christ. I sit here as a child of God. I have authority here. And you sit. Sing your meeting. Let us all hold hands. We pray. Ah, uh -uh. not stress what. Good morning. Are you communicating? If, if you have nothing to pray in the morning, you are entering your car, you are going to the bus stop, wherever you are in the morning, Ukitembea. If you have nothing to say, testify you are a child of God. Tembea tu. Sema tu. I'm a child of God. Let the earth know I'm a child of God. Let the road know I'm a child of God. Let the atmosphere know, Lord, I am, I, am, I am your child. Let everything that has breath understand that I'm your child. That's a powerful prayer. You have nothing to pray. You're going for an interview. Lord, I am your child. Hey, number four. Testify about the provision of God. The commander Paul of Samanga in Philippians 4.19. My God shall supply all of your needs. He doesn't say God. He says my God. It's personal. My God. He's testifying. But because from a place of, he knows his God provides. Testify about his provision. And please, at a camera you are spoiled. Huh? You might be spoiled by blessing. Eh? They are spoiled. Even when you are spoiled, testify with provision. Thank you, Father, you spoiled me so much with good things. You spoiled me with a full fridge. I a fridge. There is no direct interpretation of poverty. Come and Miss Nashikananga Hivio. Miss Angu, they go hand in hand. Njana poverty. Hand in hand. Yes. But it's important to always remember, even though you are spoiled, you have so much. You have abundance. Your car is full. You have a farm. You are farming. You have businesses. Things are doing well. Even in your spoiledness, tell God, thank you, you spoil me with good things. You are letting the enemy know that all those things you have, you attribute them to the Lord. 
Mnanishika hapo. Kama una kidogo pia muambie tu. Hata hii kidogo ni wewe umenipatia. If you can provide in these dark days, you will provide on the mountain top. God in the valley is God in the mountain. Mnanishika hapo. Good. Testify about who God is to you. Testify about who God is to you. Who is God to you? Testify about who God is to you. Your father, your strength, your shield, your fortress. All those good things you tell him. Testify who he is to you. Number six, testify about the victory you already have. Testify about the victory you already have. The victory you already have. I'm a conqueror through Christ. Jesus, testify about it. You are seeing another, something hard, testify I've already won this battle. It was won 2,000 years ago. Sipigani leo, nisha shinda vi, vita. Number seven, testify against any disqualification. Testify against any disqualification. I am not disqualified, I am pre-qualified. I was pre-qualified at the cross. So you can't disqualify me. Amen? I am pre qualified by Jesus Christ. Number eight, testify about what you have seen him do for others. Now, where do you start with this? Start from the Bible. Sawa. Mungu wa Israeli. Anzi hapo. Testify what you've seen him do for others. This is when I look, I say, Lord, you've been so good to so and so. I'm so grateful, Lord, you are a faithful God. If you are able to bless so and so with this, you are a faithful God. Amen? Sasawa. God is good. So testify. That protects you from jealousy. Na envy. You celebrate others when they are blessed. No one is blessed at your expense. And number nine, testify about the resurrection. Testify about the resurrection. He, your joker. When things have gone so bad, so bad, you can't even explain. Testify about the resurrection. How to testify about the, the, the resurrection? My story doesn't end here. My story doesn't end here. What happens on this planet doesn't define who I am in Christ. At one point, I will resurrect and I'll be joined with him in the heavenly places. Okay? There will be no sorrow, there will be no sadness. Kama kuna kitu inasinya shetani is when you talk about the, the resurrection. Because that is something the devil can never touch. If ever you feel you're getting depressed, talk about the resurrection. God is good. But my story doesn't end here. So here, hapa, si life and death. He contract, si life and death. He marriage, si life and death. He nini, si life and death. He health, si life and death. I have the resurrection, and that is where my story continues. This is not where my story ends. The devil gets frustrated by you. When I'm seeing kabisa. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the power of testimony. I've left out a small part, which uh, God willing, I will touch a bit next week. But you can testify anywhere, anytime. Anywhere, anytime. Shall we pray? Almighty Father, we glorify you. We praise you, Lord. We adore you. We thank you, Lord, that you have always been enough in our lives. You have always been enough in every situation and every circumstance. We bless that, Father, you have always protected us and shielded us, Lord, and given us the very best that comes from you. And that, Father, we can testify of your goodness. We can testify of your loving kindness. We can testify that, Lord, it is you who has brought us this far. And Father, we ask you tonight, Lord, that Lord, may you give us a new word of testimony, Lord. May you give us the eyes to see the things you have done for us. May you give us the discernment to know what you are doing and how you are moving. But Father, we may be able to always, always be in touch with what you do in our lives. Give us, Lord, the grace to testify with our actions, to testify with, with our words. Give us the ability to know the moments of testimony, Lord. Give us the ability, Lord, to know when you move. Give us the ability, Lord, to know when you touch. Father, we know that you continue to do wonderful things for us. And tonight is no exception, Lord. Now, Lord, you'll keep on doing good things for us. The Lord, you will keep on doing wonderful things in our, in our families, in our homes, in our dreams, in our journeys. But Father, you will keep on being faithful. And you'll keep on doing good and wonderful things. Because Father, you'll never cease to do great and wonderful things for us. You have never given up on us. And that is a wonderful thing, Father. 
You never see defeat when you when you look at us. You never see a hopeless situation when you see us. But Father, you always see people, Lord, who are desperate to be loved by you, desperate to be held by you, desperate, Lord, to be led by you. And may that, Lord, be the anchor of our faith. That be the anchor of our walk with you. But Father, we'll always remain yoked in you because you find life, we find hope, we find peace in you, Father. Let all that we are, all that we are about, come before your throne right now and may it bow at your feet. But let the situation in our lives understand that the God we serve is a mighty God. The God we serve is a God who is alive. The God we serve is a God with power. The God we serve is a God who has never lost in, 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 in any battle. May every situation understand that, Lord, and may it come to your feet. But Lord, we may be free to worship, free to adore, and free to be intimate with you. We thank you so far for your daughters. You truly, Lord, are our Ebenezer. You truly, Lord, have brought us this far. In Jesus' name we pray in thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. God is great. All the time. Uh, next week. Same time. Yes.